Great, great. Well, thank you for the opportunity for presenting TIP. It's universal healthcare. We have four main pillars. It's trust, traceability, security, and accessibility. Here in Latin America, there's a critical problem, and not only here, but around the world, but mainly here, for the imminent urgency to redesign medical care. There's four critical things here. There's more patients than doctors. We spend more time than necessary in traditional healthcare. Extreme lack of transparency and access to information. No one literally has access to their medical information. Uh, lo uh, lack of security, no universal follow-ups, universal files, uh, lack of primary medical attention and focus on uh, second and third level and leaving aside the preventive, that's most, the most important and self-medications among others. I'm Fernando Pardeiro, I'm CEO of TIFEL and it is my commitment to redesign and transform healthcare uh, for everyone, no questions asked. So here's where TIF comes in as your one-stop shop for medical care. How do we do it? through on-demand and universal electronic health records. So through that, we can provide control, access, and governance through that information for everyone. We provide on-demand healthcare services with artificial intelligence and personalization in your back pockets, so you can access medical attention anywhere, anytime. And we empower smart care by closing the gap between patients and medical providers through technology. And we have a digital pharmacy that you'll choose how, when, and where you want to receive those medications. We also have a personalized uh, uh, transformation in terms of type of Pixar animation that you can transform how you see, how you feel a healthcare services from something gray or maybe boring to actually something that could be fun. It doesn't have to be uh, wrong or, or, or gray and stuff like that. So in terms of our value proposition, we have a, a infrastructure. It's, a, it's an integration of blockchain technology, hyperledger and AI that provides us a privacy traceability and control in the complete ecosystem. And we also provide data governments in terms of uh, non-fungible tokens. So digital assets that we provide to all of our users, also no questions asked in terms of their medical information. In terms of our business model, uh, as a digital infrastructure, we, we can create different types of business lines. Uh, one of them, that, that's, it's our, our main um, uh, launch that we just launched less than a month ago. It's a clinical, uh, any clinic that is a software for doctors and applications for patients. What we do here, that's very key point is we provide doctors, the, the, the upfront payments, advanced payments through all the consultation, we guarantee that and we get a fee. We have a non-demand type of uh, Uber of medicine model and a digital pharmacy that we get spread between what we, we buy and what we sell through our own uh, platform. As I said, we'll just launch this. And in terms of perspective on our scalability for each 500 doctors that we affiliate here at TIP, uh, we improve half a million lives. Uh, we generate um, uh, 300,000 transactions. It's mostly based on transaction-based uh, model. In terms of big data, we uh, empower smart decision by saving lives. This is something key, what we want to try to do. So your prevention is our biggest asset. Follow-up uh, care, better diagnosis, decreased healthcare costs, and better user experience among that. So through that, we generate value in terms of what we have in terms of information, uh, mixing up with transaction-based model, providing everyone the healthcare they need regardless of where they are located or regardless of their economic status. So we empower patients by empowering uh, doctors. Thank you very much. Thank you a lot. Thank you, Fernando. And we come back to our expert board. Please, do you have some questions to our founder? So you, you had mentioned, this, this sounds very familiar, actually. Um, <laughs> um, we actually invested in this space about four or five years ago. And it's interesting how we are seeing things progress. My question to you is, with your launch, where is your focus? Because you talk about doctors, you talk about a pharmacy. What is your plan in terms of scaling? Where is your focus? And then where, what are your uh, additional paths beyond that, that core that you're, you're initially targeting? Yeah, so we we'll first, thank you for the question. We we'll first uh, start with the baseline in terms of the doctor is my main my main uh, asset right now. So we are uh, creating an ecosystem that we invite doctors uh, to be part of what we're doing. We are actually not charging them to be part of what we're building. So we create a transactional base. So each doctor will provide us uh, a mass critic in terms of patients. So each doctor, when they register their patients and we generate <clears throat> information, we generate uh, an opportunity for that patient to transform how they communicate with that doctor through apps. We, we uh, digitalize that particular doctor so they generate uh, through, through, through the traditional way how they communicate, we provide them all the technology they need. So through that, that's our baseline. 
that we want to generate in this first step. We actually launched a month ago, so you can download apps. The, med, uh, the doctor can actually affiliate and have their digit, the, the practice to be digitalized 100%, everything they actually do now to be digitalized. So through that, we start the base, and then we migrate to different types of services through that, that same uh, critical mass of patients, providing them now, not only depending on that doctor that told them, you know, uh, download that app because it's the, the new way to communicate with me, but they also can, um, can order type of services uh, like telemedicine, they can uh, order uh, uh, services to their own homes, you know, a COVID test, uh, medical attention, et cetera, through their own apps. And that's the type of on-demand. So we generate a, a, a type of, um, of, uh, of, of doctors that are, are not like secondary or third level, you know, primary healthcare, I graduate, then what do I have to do? So I get tip, I affiliate them, and I can start providing medical consultation for everyone in my, in my, in my, in my home. So through that, we, we connect directly all patients to that doctors um, without the need of digitalizing a practice that they do not have. So that's the second step. So through that, we pay those uh, those doctors and we get a spread on, on, on that. And the other one is the pharmacy. So it, for us, it makes sense then uh, completing the circle. So once everything happens, you need the medication. So it's a type of marketplace where we connect the, the pharmacies here in Latin America through, through the doctor. The, the, the digital recipe and of course the end the end user the patient uh, would uh, deliver uh, to them all, all their medications in in, in general and through that infrastructure we have all the other potential business lines also i'm not sure if i answer your question uh yes the only other question i have is uh, so it's a private blockchain the entire project is a private blockchain correct uh, I actually, no. We have uh, same as the one before. We have a, it's a hybrid one that we ha we use Hyperledger in this database, so we can store information. Blockchain right now it's very complex, and we use blockchain to generate all the transaction uh, traceability and audit auditability of all process that happens in an uh, in a electronic health records. Since the start, everything is located there through hashes. You can actually access that hash and through that hash, access that information if, 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 that, if that's the thing that you need. But you as a patient decide if you want to share that information or not. Since you, you log in, you, you, you can share and, and unshare the, your information and you authorize the doctors so they can actually open an electronic health record for you. So, so we use both, both of them to, to create a, you know, a unique ecosystem in that basically. 